What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters. I'm Carolina Hitman. And, and I'm I, Angel. We got a special guest host, my sister today. My boy Anubis couldn't be here today. He had to work. Sorry for him. But um, yeah, so I had so to do this tournament of power to keep it going, I had to have a special guest host come by because I can't do it by myself. It's not as fun. So I got my sister to come over. So she's going to help me go through last week's participants and the victors of those matches. And we're going to discuss our first match for this week in this video. But we're going to get started right now. So the first match we had was <clears throat> Tommy Oliver versus Tyler Durden. And Tommy Oliver is Jason David Frank's character from the Power Rangers, which he wasn't morphed. He was just in his human form. And Tyler Durden um, is from the Fight Club. That's Brad Pitt's character slash Ed Norton's. Right. <laughs> but um, of course, everybody already knew. Tommy Oliver won the landslide. Like, it wasn't even close. Oh, of course. He's, he's the best. I mean, he's a Power Ranger. First yeah, but, all. well, that's true. But he wasn't a Power Ranger in this. It was just him in his base form. It's just him as a human. Well, you got to think, he knows karate off gate. Well, that's in true. Real life. That's and true. And compared to the psycho split personality, uh, what's his name? Um, um, Tyler Durden. And, yeah. Uh, and they never they mentioned Ed Nor Ed Edward Norton's character, what his name was. Yeah. But yeah. He has no, no, yeah, he's not going to be able to do it. But uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people said too. You know, Tom is used to fighting aliens and stuff, but even in his human form, he's still fighting, used to fighting those type of people. Exactly. And Tyler Durden was just... Him with some other regular guys from offices trying to fight each other. <laughs> so, of course, Tommy won the landslide on that one. But um, our next one was close. That, this one was so close. Man, the winner won by one vote. That's how close this was. And this match was Cam. That's Tony Jaws' character from The Protector versus Danny. And that's Jet Li's character from Unleashed. And Danny's character... I mean, I'm Jet Li's character, Danny, won by one vote. That's how close that was. So, who, in your opinion, who do you think would have won that fight? Do honestly, you agree with them? Yeah, on that? I do agree. I, I honestly believe once that collar comes off, Danny's so focused on his opponent that it's yeah, he can take a lot of damage. Yeah, I just think, I think over, I think as an overall fighter, as far as different martial arts and stuff, I think Danny is the better fighter in that in that oh, one. Oh man, I I don't know. I like the other fighter better. His skills were, I mean, not only did he have Muay Thai, but he had a couple of other skills now under his belt now as that's well. It, that, that's his main fighting style is Muay Thai. That's that's it. Yeah, that's his main fighting style. Okay, and Jet Li has was how Shu. many? Uh, well, it wasn't Jet Li's character, but. Or not I mean, his character, but, but his, Danny's character. But yeah, but Danny's character, he knew Wushu. And I think Wushu is a more overall, I'm not saying it's better, but I think it's a more overall balanced fighting style than just the Muay Thai with just knees and kicks and elbows. Okay, that is that's true. just me. That's, that's his main thing is those knees and those yes, elbows. And they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they hurt. All right. So the next match we had Riddick, which is, of course, um, what's his name? Vin uh, Diesel. Yeah, Vin yeah. Diesel off of um, off of Pitch Black, Chronicles yes. of Riddick, Riddick against going against. He was going against um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in in Predator, Dutch Schaefer. Riddick. Yeah, and Riddick. Riddick actually won in that battle. So first of all, both of them are big and bulky. Right. When it comes to that, but fighting skills, I think uh, Riddick's character would dominate. Not only can he fight people right but he fighting aliens as well so that kind of and that's true and I, I that think wins that and the fact that we they were able to use knives in his matchup everybody figured that you no know, riddick with his knife oh, is yeah. a lot better oh, fighter yeah. with his knife than dutch schaefer was Most definitely. so that's why in their opinion that's why he won and plus in in riddick's words you know he's been fighting for his life ever since he was born so <laughs> So yeah. he got something to prove. Yeah. So Riddick <laughs> won this one. And our last match from last week was Isaiah Bone from Blood and Bone against Boyka from Undispute, the Undisputed series. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really close. It was close, but not close enough. Bone won in this one. Oh. Man, I, I'm going to post a picture, guys and gals. It should be coming up right about now. Of a picture of a comment that had me dying laughing. They said... Someone um, on one of the polls I posted in one of my Facebook groups, um, they said the only, it had a picture of a Tim, you know, Timberland, uh -huh. and it said the only, the only thing Bone needs to win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that comment had me rolling for like two or three minutes. 
<laughs> so, oh my God. Yeah, so Bone won that match. So we got all the victors from last week. So they move on to the next round. Okay. So this week we're going to start, of course, you know, we, um, we go through our last week's participants and we always put a video. I mean, um, we start the next week with one match in this video right here. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the rules of the Tournament of Power action style. Okay. All right. First, no firearms. This is a strictly hand-to-hand, -hand, no com combat situation. Uh, number two. Knives are allowed. So it's not really hand in hand, but it's hand and knife. So we, we can get that. I mean, yeah, it's still it's hand in hand. hand. Yeah. <laughs> so knives are knives are allowed uh, in this matchup. And rule number three, it's a random encounter. So neither participant knows about the other participant. So they just meet for the first time and decide they don't like each other and want to fight. Okay. All right. So the rules are going to change a little bit in the next round. We're going to throw a little bit more stuff in there and to make the match a little, make the match a little bit more interesting. Okay. So this week, we got some new matches for y'all. I'm looking on my tablet, everybody. That's why you can't see it, So, because I, I got to keep track of all the matches and everything. But uh, this week, what we're going to do, we're going to start our first match off right now. I put the wrong pin number in my, in my tablet. All right. So we're going to go um, this first matchup, mm -hmm. since this is the one I am excited to bring to you today. I know, me too. I am excited. It is a one deadly match. One of my favorite match. movies of all time. Mm, yes. So today, we are going to be talking about Mad Dog from the Raid series. Well, the Raid 1, really. Yeah. Versus Jason Bourne. And that is, what is it? Matt Damon's character mm -hmm. in the Bourne Identity Supremacy Ultimatum. Now, can I ask you, what made y'all compare these two? Well, I, I tried to make the matches as even as possible with the fighters we picked mm -hmm. to try to give it a, a to where the each side had really yeah, good um, fighters, okay. really good fighters. That way, when we get down to the championship match, one really fighter from each side, Isn't from it? the from I want to say the east side or west side and east side. Okay. So that way, it, it the championship match should come down to two of the best fighters that we see in film. Okay, cool. So that's what we're doing. That's kind of what we're trying to do. Okay. She's new to the she's new to the, the scene in our tournament of power. So forgive her. First so, of all, I still know a little well, bit. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> So, we got Mad Dog versus Jason Bourne. This one right here is a good one. Mm. Now, we got two experienced fighters. Now, I'm going to flip to my notes because Mad Dog, I, I, I know him so well, it's, it's not even funny. Yes. All right. So, we got Jason Bourne. So, Jason Bourne is a Delta Force, uh, is part of Delta Force. He was trained by the U.S. Army. Uh, he's efficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons. Okay. Um, in the movies... They actually er kind of erased his memory to make him into the perfect assassin, which it is a success. Right. You know, have no feelings. And yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. Okay. You know, as the movies progress, he gets you know he g gains his memory back and and get everything. Well, let's but let's do it before he gained his memory back. Well, he's still a skilled fighter no matter what, okay. because as you can tell in the movies, like um, in the scene, one of the very opening scenes in the first movie where the police um, start asking him questions and everything. And they try to detain him, and he automatically goes and into fighting style. Like he just you know, knocks both of them out, and he doesn't even realize what he did. He just like, oh shit! Oh, I oh, just shit. woke up. Oh, There's man. like Ooh, five people yeah. on the floor. <laughs> That's not good. So he, I think Jason Bourne, it's in his it's muscle memory. He doesn't even have to think. It's he's a tr he's fighting. He, it's automatic. Mm -hmm. So Jason Bourne is actually good at, as we see in the movies. He's efficient with knives, pins. You know. This random en environmental weapons that he can grab and use. Basically, Towels, sweatshirts. He used to use look, it all. Look, basically any weapon like how your mom would grab <laughs> like the black mom. Your ass. Yeah. yeah, one what of those. Wow, that's what I'm using. Yeah, <clears throat> so fire he, squatter. So he's efficient in a lot of different, um, I mean, a lot of different, I think they don't really go into detail on what martial arts he's efficient in, mm -hmm. but he's a very good fighter and a good assassin, by the way. Yeah, very good. So he's, he's, he's a good fighter. So he ain't no slouch. Now, we finna go into the one that we love. Yes. Mad Dog. Mad Dog is from the Raid series. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Okay. You want to talk? Yes. Uh, he's from the uh, Raid series. Uh, what type of style was he? He, he uh, actually, they use pin a lot, which is a, um, which actually is a, um, a fishing and using knives and everything and more hand-to-hand -hand instead of kicks and everything. They're more hand, um, hand-to-hand -hand fighters. Mm -hmm. They don't use too much. They, they use kicks, but not as as well, well, I'm not gonna say as well, but they use their hands and everything a lot more than the okay. kicks. 
and knives and you know they are very efficient in knives and that di and that d discipline is specifically used for knives mm -hmm. like that is a that is a big advantage as far as that and let's not put the, or let's even say that this dude is like what all the five two I think he's like five two. Yeah, five, five two. Five two, five three. Don't let that fool you. Exactly. And Don't on let a side note, you. he produced all those moves. Yeah, he he was actually one of the ones to help choreograph. Chore yeah, a choreograph. In the raid. He owns a couple of uh, do, um, judo's. Uh, uh, not, uh, I could have sworn he owned a couple of them where he teaches people that type of uh, that style discipline. of fighting. I, I think he does. I'm yeah. not sure. If you don't, if we ain't sure, so look it up. Let yeah. us know. But um, Mad Dog is a brutal fighter. Like. Yes. If you've never seen the raid, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to post links in the description mm -hmm. to the fight scenes for each character so you can get a, a good idea of their fighting skills and everything like that so you can make a better decision. All right. So, uh, but he is efficient in his killing. St I mean, he is efficient. Well, the difference between him and Jason Bourne, I think, is Jason Bourne is assassin. Right. Uh, Mad Dog is a killer. This is what he do for a living, and this is what he enjoys. This is like his regular job, his mm. nine to five job. Right. He enjoys just it. Killing people. And and to really feed off of that, as far as how he how much he enjoys it, there's a scene where he gets mm -hmm. one of the cops. Spoiler alert for anybody who has not seen the raid. Skip a little bit ahead, but there's a scene where Mad Dog gets uh, Jaraka. I think that's the name of the cop. He has him at gunpoint. Jiraka pulls out a knife, but Mad Dog pulls out a gun. Mad Dog lets the other guys go. And he tells him, get up, go in the room. And as he's going in the room, he closes the door and he just puts the gun down. And he, and he, and he makes a speech. I'm not sure if the, the, the YouTube it has the subtitles to tell I you what he's saying. They may, yeah, they I may have. Yeah, I sworn it did. But anyways, but so what he does is he takes the bullets out the gun and everything. And he starts explaining to Jiraka. Jiraka I don't like using guns. It takes away the rush. He's like, this is what I'm about. Let me show you what these hands can do. At and that point, that's when the dude knew that he fucked up. Yeah. If you put down a gun and rather fight, <laughs> right. you know you about to die. And he commences to whipping Jaraka's ass. Oh like, my God. That dude, man, and of course we have somebody in this tournament that he fought against actually in the first raid on the other side, which is Rama. Ooh. Which one is, uh, Rama. is that the dude uh, That's that the fought? Cop. Okay, yeah, yeah. Man, he's great at fighting. Yes, man. so Rama is a very good fighter. If anybody who's never seen that, he won his match against Kato. Mm -hmm. Rama, he, no, uh, Mad Dog beat, again, spoiler alert, skip yeah. ahead. Mad Dog fought Rama and his brother and whipped their asses by himself. And the like, thing, the disclaimer, because since y'all have not seen this movie, and shame on you, first of all, uh, there's a scene in there where he's fighting both brothers. Uh, one brother sticks a, what is it called, one of them lights? Uh, um, fluorescent lights. Yeah, the fluorescent yeah. lights in his throat. Now, sticks it is it protruding through his throat now. This man says, I don't fucking care. I'm going to still kill you. And he commences to still be whooping their ass. Right. He's got a fluorescent light sticking out his neck and still whipping ass yeah like they get lucky like i'm gonna be honest with you they get lucky they should have lost R rama and his brother should have lost that fight oh yeah they first of all they did take they, they, they did lose that fight. yeah yeah they did technically it wasn't for the fu uh, fact that that dude because his brother almost didn't make it right yeah. and yeah. if he didn't jump on him and then stick it further in his throat and right. then both of them tag team they would not have made it right so mad dog is a very good fighter yeah. to say the least so this one is going to be a very, very good fight, especially since both participants are skilled with knives. Mm -hmm. You know, but Mad Dog, for me, I think Mad Dog has this because he's got, he is, I don't want to say, like you said, where he's a killer mm -hmm. because Jason Bourne character is a killer too because he's trained. But I think because, <clears throat> excuse me, I think because Mad Dog enjoys fighting. That like is he's, the difference. Yes, yeah. he is so skilled that he will put down a gun and still whip your ass and yeah. don't care. Yeah. And I think for me, that's what gives, gives Mad Dog the advantage here is that he enjoys fighting so much that he's willing to give away the gun, throw it down and fight you in hand to hand combat and whip your ass and then, and then snap your neck. Yeah. And you know you're a bad fighter when you are 5'2 with Jesus sandals and, and still kicking somebody's yes. ass? Yes. Come on now. And that's the thing, like he's much shorter than a lot of the fighters yeah. and that he's fighting against. Like he's not a tall dude. Like in the scene with Jiraka, 
whereas he's telling him to get up, you can see as the camera pans up, so you can see just how much big Jirak, how much bigger Jiraka is. Like Jiraka's like it make him seem like Jiraka's a giant right. compared to Mad Dog. Oh my and, goodness! But that shows you how skilled of a fighter Jiraka is. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I know I'm talking about a, a lot about Mad Dog. That's not to throw anything away from Jason Bourne. Right. Jason Bourne. I mean, if you've seen his fight scenes, he he's used pins. Like I said, towels. Whatever, whatever's around, around, he's gonna kill you with. He is a very, uh, he's a very efficient killer too. Now, and he's and he's able to adapt really well. Right. Now, to whatever situation, he's able to adapt really well. It's just that for me, I think because of the, especially with the inclusion of knives and Mad Dog style is especially proficient in the use of knives. For me, Mad Dog has the advantage in this fight, and that's who I'm going with. Right, and, and I agree too. I uh, definitely agree with Mad Dog because one, his fighting skills are, are amazing. And like I said, if you can sit there and whoop two other skilled fighters that's just as well as you uh, at the same time, you know you're a bad beast. Yeah. And, and my thing is, there's this one scene after he kills that uh, one dude uh, that he puts the gun down. Mm -hmm. You seeing him drag him throughout the freaking right. movie, and then like he talks to uh, I can't remember his character. It's it's his brother. It's, yeah, it's, it's Rama's brother. And he's like, uh, he's no use, you know, to dead. And the dude just shook his head. He said, I got more than you. Right. He <laughs> said, I got more. Yeah. What do you got to show for what you did? Yeah. I got more than you right now. Right. You no, know, he was he was telling him it wasn't the right guy. Right. Yeah. He was he's like, like, I don't care. Well, what do you got? Right. You know, he just wanted to kill. So I think that was his main point. He just wanted to go out and kill. Right. And, and, he, and he does it well. Yeah. I, I mean, mean he enjoys it. And I think that's the difference between uh, Jason Bourne's character and Mad Dog's character. Because with Jason Bourne, he doesn't want to particularly want to kill people and hurt others. Mad Dog, that is what shit. he... That is what it is in. That's what he's here for. Right. That is what he's getting paid for. Exactly. Even if he didn't get paid, I think he would still enjoy his job. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. So for me, I'm going with Mad Dog mm -hmm. on this one. That's just my personal pre preference, and I'm interested to hear all of your, 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 your comments and your opinions on this. Yeah. Now my thing is, if you've never seen the rated, you've never seen Mad Dog. Please don't just automatically think Jason Bourne is going to win just because right. you know him. Please, I implore you, look up. The fight scenes with Mad Dog, so you can see just how skilled this dude is. And like I said, I'm gonna post the uh, in the description. I'm gonna put the fight scenes, links to the fight scenes, so you can see yourself, and you'll see why he is a lot more proficient in fighting mm -hmm. and killing than Jason Bourne is. Even though Jason Bourne's a trained assassin, yeah, you'll see why we pick Mad Dog. Yeah, I mean he's he's a great fighter. I mean, like I said, he's psychotic too. That's yeah, he another is. Thing. Yeah, like, he has no conscience. None. He has no soul. He doesn't care. None at all. He wins that one. But that's our picks for the week. Yeah. So we thank y'all for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the little talking session that we had today concerning this match. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you can get notified of our next video. But um, I'm Carolina Hitman. And I'm Angel. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you for joining Cracker Hunters. Peace.